video, I'm going to discuss how easy it is to clean slice safety blades compared to traditional blades. We get a lot of questions about cleaning blades. Traditional blades, whether they be metal or ceramic, are very hard and very dangerous to clean versus slice safety blades, which are very easy to clean. If you have cutting applications where material is sticking to your blades and you have to throw that blade away because it's become covered in all sorts of goop, you could easily clean our blades because they're safer to the touch than traditional blades. You could use alcohol or other sort of cleaning solutions to get that material off the blade and save the blade. Very easy to do with the slice safety blades. Using traditional blades, it's very difficult. Why is that? Because they're super sharp. Also, another good point, slice safety blades are oil free. There's no oil shipping with our blades. Why? Because we do not rust. We don't need oil on our blades. So with a traditional metal blade, many of our customers need to remove that oil from the metal blade, especially in aerospace, before they could use the blade in their facility. Clean room, aerospace, many other applications don't want contaminants, that oil on their blade. So trying to remove oil from individual blades that rust, traditional metal, or trying to remove debris from super sharp ceramic blades that are extremely dangerous is not advisable. If you have applications that require clean blades, no oil, no rust, or you need to clean your blades while you're cutting, use slice safety blades. Much safer than trying to clean traditional ceramics, which are crazy sharp, or traditional metal blades that have oil on them and rust and also are very sharp. Stay with slice safety blades. Hi, today we'll be teaching you how to dry install Invisible Gadget Guard onto your device. Thoroughly clean your device to avoid any dust or fingerprints. Place your device on a surface that won't allow it to slide around. Peel removable installation tabs from their backing and apply one to the top of the guard and one to the bottom. Only half of the tab should be stuck to the guard and the rest will be used as a handle. Ensuring that the tabs are stuck to the guard, remove the guard from its backing. Make sure not to touch the adhesive side of the guard, only touch the installation tabs. Holding onto the tabs, align the guard with your device, paying close attention to camera and speaker holes. Press one side of the guard down, keeping hold of the other end. Use the squeegee to slowly press the rest of the guard down. As long as the tabs are still attached to the guard, it can be removed and repositioned until you get a perfect fit. Once the guard is properly installed, the tabs can be carefully removed from the guard. After the guard is properly applied to the device, run the squeegee firmly across the film to smooth out any remaining bubbles. Any remaining micro bubbles will disappear in the next 24 to 48 hours. Using the squeegee in a slow and deliberate manner tends to work best, leaving fewer micro bubbles and achieving the best final results. The device is ready for use immediately, meaning no downtime for your device. Thanks for watching, and remember, safe can still be sexy.